hey, I see the wicked. They seem to get away with everything. They seem to be the ones having all kinds of fun. And here I am stuck in this fundamentalist church and there's all these rules and I can't do anything and I can't go to these concerts and you can't, I can't go out to the bar and I can't do this and I can't do that. Watch out for that attitude. There's a reason for that. As I mentioned this morning, it's not because you know, your parents or we don't want you to have any fun. It's because destruction comes in those lifestyles, in, in those things that seem to be so much fun. Don't feel like you need to test everything for yourself. That is probably the biggest problem that, that most people have is not being able to learn from God's Word and instead having to learn by doing, by going through it themselves. No, 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 that's not going to happen to me. Yes, it will. Learn it from the people who have already made the mistakes in the Scripture. Learn it from other people who have already made the mistakes. Learn it from people like me. Look, I've been down the road. I've been down the path. Oh, you think it's so cool to do drugs? Oh, you think it's so cool to drink all that booze? It's not cool. Okay, it's just going to hurt. It's going to destroy your body. It's going to make you say dumb things. It's going to make you say stupid things. And it's going to turn your heart into, into having, being perverted and saying perverted things and thinking perverted things. Things that are just not right. Turn, if you would, to Proverbs chapter 23. Proverbs chapter 23. Children, we want you to be wise. We want you to be smart. Spend time in the book of Proverbs. Very applicable book. Pure wisdom. Real basic stuff. Look, life isn't really that complicated. It's not. There are some very simple commands and rules that you ought to just put in place for your life. The hard part is just following them. It's not complicated, though. It's simple. The hard part is fighting the flesh. The hard part is fighting the, the draw, the appeal to sin. That's where the hard part is. What the right choice is, is easy. That's the easy part. It's clear. It's black and white. Receive the warnings from Scripture. Look at Proverbs 23, verse number 19. The Bible says, Hear thou, my son, and be wise, and guide thine heart in the way. Be not among winebibbers, among riotous eaters of flesh. Have nothing to do with those people. Don't make those people your friends. Don't go joining yourself up to a bunch of drunkards. You may work in an industry or a job where a lot of people are you know, roughnecks. You may work on an oil field. You may work in construction. You may work as I did in a machine shop, right? Blue collar job. And you got a lot of people. It's just part of the culture that every Friday, hey, we're going out to happy hour and we're going to get drunk. Hey, come over to our poker party and, and smoke and drink. Look, stay away from it. There's going to be influences out there. We're, going to, we're, we're in the world, but we're not of the world. Amen. Have nothing to do with it. Avoid it and avoid it at all costs. Look, don't get yourselves involved. Don't think, well, I'm a Christian. I'm stronger than that. I'll just go to this party. I'll just go to this area where everybody else is getting drunk and it won't affect me. Yes, it will. Don't think that you're that strong. Take heed lest you fall, please. Don't allow yourself to be put in those situations. Just avoid it altogether. Be not among wine bibbers. Yeah. Right. There's no caveat. Be not among wine bibbers. Yeah. 